State legislators have made their final vote on the shared revenue bill, using the state's five cent sales tax to provide financial aid to individual municipalities. Tonight at 10, Grace Olch has you covered on the conversations held on the Senate and Assembly floors. Brandon Amber, state legislators have been working to negotiate a shared revenue plan for months, and it seems as though lawmakers have finally struck a deal. The Wisconsin Senate passed a bipartisan plan today to prevent Milwaukee from going bankrupt, as many legislators said throughout the day. When Milwaukee does well, the state does well. The state's largest city is facing bankruptcy by 2025. It's struggling with an underfunded pension system and not enough funds to maintain critical emergency services, police and fire. While the bill is bipartisan, agreed to by Republican lawmakers and Governor Tony Evers, it has naysay naysayers from both sides of the aisle. Madison's own representative Francesca Hong says while she's seen firsthand the dedicated local government officials working to stretch what little funding they have, she thinks the state legislature can do much better. We know we can do better for our mid-sized cities. We know that we can do better for our, our larger municipalities. I think Madison here, had we been uh, going with the cost of inflation, we should have been receiving up to 17 million and not 7 million. There was a better way to do this. Not enough of us were involved. Republican Representative Bob Donovan of Greenfield, a Milwaukee suburb, says this bill will save the city from an otherwise inevitable financial crisis. There was certainly give and take. Some of the negotiations were stressful shall I say. Some of them involve some shouting. But in the final analysis, I believe we came to a decent bill that is important to move forward. From the so Grace, Milwaukee was a major talking point today. What else came up in the chambers? Yeah, well, a major breakthrough that Governor Evers and Republican legislatures were able to come through, come to, was funding for schools. So there's going to be over $1 billion added to K-12 through education, mm -hmm. plus mental health services in schools. And private and charter schools, like One City, right here in Madison, are going to receive a per-pupil aid. All right, All right, thanks for that Thank update. Thank you, great, Grace. And just into our newsroom, Governor Tony Evers just released a tweet about this deal, and it reads, in quote, It's my job as governor to always work to do the right thing when it matters most. We are securing over $1 billion for our kids and our schools to improve reading and kids' mental health while making historic investments in our communities. This is a win for Wisconsin.